Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another exciting episode of uh, one hour challenge. Unfortunately I had a few problems on the way. I had to record this video twice because I bought uh, a uh, microphone and uh, unfortunately everything I uh, registered before was without the microphone. Then I had another problem on the way and this was uh, rather technical. I got stuck into the 3D mode because I decided to write at the end uh, a little bit of a text and uh, yeah, I decided to do it 3D and uh, it uh, obviously went out of the 2D dimensional and it went into the 3 dimensional. And I couldn't use anymore the, all the tools that are available on the 2 dimension. I am so excited, I got a lot of uh, review and uh, comments from a lot of friends around the world. Also one from uh, Fadi Flashy, a friend from Israel, and also one from my cousin in uh, South Africa, that is uh, an artist as well. Fadi pointed out that I should uh, actually talk through the whole process, and I found the idea actually stimulating, interesting, also another sort of challenge and uh, my cousin actually told me he really liked the job and uh, that I should go on with the project. I also really like the idea that uh, this project is uh, keeping me in contact with a lot of people and uh, having a lot of uh, new ideas about what I do. I cannot stress enough uh, how much I really appreciate your support and how much I'm, uh, I'm willing to, to support my progress and I really hope you're enjoying it as much as I do because I'm having a lot of fun. So as I said last episode, I am not a professional artist, I'm only a hobby artist and uh, I just started with Photoshop and I bought a vacuum uh, um, tablet with uh, which I'm trying to create something. Um, in my family there are a few artists that uh, work professionally and uh, I guess I kind of learned out of it. For today's challenge I decided to paint uh, Diego Armando Maradona as he has died a couple of days ago and uh, in the media, especially in Italy where I'm from, uh, it's been uh, a, a huge event. Maradona, El Pibe de Oro, was most known for his uh, footballing skills, but also for his uh, dark days with uh, drug abuse. The most iconic uh, memory I have of uh, Maradona was in the semi-final against England in 1986, where Maradona anticipated the goalkeeper with uh, a handball and uh, scored the first goal for Argentina but more re remarkably is actually the second goal that uh, many people valued as two goals because uh, Maradona ran more than half of the pitch with the ball and dribbled all the players uh, and then he scored one of the most beautiful goals in uh, football history this was also um, voted in 2002 as, one, as the best goal ever in a World Cup. The first goal against England was uh, seen by the media and by the general public in a very negative way. Maradona defended himself saying, I did touch it a little bit with my head and a little bit with the hand of God, which made him famous with the nickname La Mano de Dios. Maradona then played the last games with his national team uh, in the World Cup 1994. He concluded then his career in the Boca Junior and he started to train teams. Uh, he died on the 25th of November of this year at the age of 60. Remarkably, two cities in particular um, took time to say goodbye to their heroes. One is Buenos Aires, which is the city of the Boca Junior, where Maradona moved the first steps into football. And uh, Napoli, that is uh, the Italian team where Maradona played most of his career. And uh, there he won uh, two uh, national titles, one uh, Coppa Italia and uh, one UEFA Cup. And despite the coronavirus um, 
uh, measurement the Napolitans went uh, to the street and also in front of the Stadium San Paolo to say goodbye to their hero. So enough being said, I will uh, go through the work with you actually. I uh, basically try to do the work in different layers. It's uh, also something new for me as uh, when you when you paint on a, on a canvas, you do not really have different layers, if not in your head. Um, the, the job that makes it easier is actually you know, with the Photoshop uh, to make different layers to work on. Um, I used another type of, uh, of uh, strategy as well this time. I uh, put the photo of uh, Maradona on, uh, on uh, another uh, page of Photoshop so that I could go back and forth and see different the different colors and, and different form of the face. Also I limited myself to do the face because anatomically I might not be the best yet but I will uh, explore this in a future video for sure also in, a, in an episode. Um, I liked uh, the fact that uh, I found this photo on, uh, on uh, Google where uh, Maradona was uh, standing probably on an anthem and uh, it looked very serious and uh, another easy thing that I found in this photo is actually that the eyes were in shadow so I did not have to spend too much time with it. As for the details I um, went on and try to work on different parts of the canvas um, a little bit of a time a little bit per time and not to not to put too much color and try to blend it all in I used a lot the blending tool and the, the pencil I really like the stroke of it and uh, the character that gives to the image if I could go back, I would uh, change a bit the beard. I would probably do it on the face uh, layer. Uh, another thing that I think I could improve is, is some other details, like for example, the eyebrows on the left side that I'm uh, not sure I actually nailed it. I'm pretty happy with the hair. The hair, nose, mouth and uh, nose um, and the uh, eyes are usually the hardest part to paint but I'm quite happy that I could find a little bit of a shadow let's say a little bit of a, a completion
you like my channel and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. If you would like to see something in particular or want to give me some suggestions, do not hesitate to contact me through the comments below or per email. I work a full-time job, but I'm always keeping track of what is going on in the world. Thank you very much and I see you in the next episode. Ciao!